Hi, welcome on to Arsenal Fan TV and this is The Aftermath. Well, what a pleasing victory it was on Saturday. That was a very, very tough game, make no mistake. Uh, we had that really, really hard game against Bayern Munich, which, you know, basically the best team in the world at the moment. We overcame them. And then straight after that, a few days later, to have to take on an Everton that would have been rested the whole week, pumped up and ready after their defeat to Manchester United. It was always going to be a tough game. Add on top of that, the torrential rainfalls throughout the game. Um, it was a real tough afternoon for Arsenal, but we came through it with flying colours. Was so comfortable to begin with. When we went 2-0 up, I mean, you couldn't see Everton getting back into the game, but this is football. They go at the other end, deflected shot, they score. And then for the last, say, 15 minutes of that game, we were living on the edge. They could have scored. Uh, you had a great save by Petr Cech, uh, Lukaku hit the post. Uh, but also, we could have scored. We could have scored a few goals to have put the game to bed. But in the end, we ran out deserved winners and it's a fantastic result. Everton are no mugs. We do have a good record against them at home, but listen, they are a top team and we, we overcame them. And, you know, joint top of the league at the moment with Manchester City, we can't really complain at the moment. The team is performing really, really well. And I've got to say a shout for two players, Olivier Giroud, who I thought was absolutely fantastic on Saturday. He held up everything, he won everything in the year scored. He was absolutely brilliant. That game was made for him on Saturday. And also Mesut Ozil pulling the strings. Amazing player, this guy. I mean, he's had his doubters. You know, it's taken him a little time to get going. But this season and towards the end of last season, we are starting to see the real Mesut Ozil at Arsenal. And it's so, so pleasing. Uh, let's get to, into the tweets and see what you guys had to say about the result. Um, no regrets, says, um, I got a little tense and scary at the end, but we're Arsenal and of course we're going to win. All right, <laughs> he's very confident. I don't know if I was that confident um, for stages in that game. Um, Niall says, if we keep all of our players fit, we should win the league. Maybe add another defensive midfielder in January. Charlie Cook says, uh, the team showed character, intelligence and resilience. Years gone by, we would have dropped points. It's the sign of winners. A lot of um, fans have been saying that, that in years gone by, that is the sort of game where maybe we wouldn't have lost it, but we wouldn't have held out. We would have drew the game. And the addition, I think, of Petr Cech, players like Gabriel, you know, the addition of those sort of players is starting to add a lot of steel to Arsenal, who've got one of the best defences, um, well, uh, uh, before Saturday, it was the best defence in the Premier League. And let's remember, the only goal they conceded in the game was a deflected goal. Um, Lajdjik King says uh, it was a good game. Players were tired and the closing uh, at the closing stages of the game, which isn't surprising given the week that we've just had. Stephen Yates says uh, you've got to mention Gabriel's reaction to that tackle. Keoneski said a sign that we got an appreciation of winning ugly. And that is a fantastic point that Stephen Yeats makes, or Yeats, is it Yeats? Makes there. Gabriel, when he celebrated that tackle, that, I love seeing that because, like he said there, we're starting to take the defensive side of a game just as serious as we take the attacking side. And it was just fabulous to see, you know, the way in which we defended in that game. Brilliant stuff. Um, Jesse says, we need to finish a game so we don't have um, to let the other team come back like what Everton did. That's true. We did have a few chances to finish that game before then, which we didn't take, which would have uh, basically put the game to bed. But hey, that's how it goes sometimes. Stu says, uh, easy to see why Ramsey gets played on the right. Ox is weak defensively and that right midfielder position is lacking depth. Um, John Tanaswas says, uh, so satisfying to see Ozil prove all the doubters wrong and that he can work with two very different type of top strikers. And that is true because there have been people who've been saying, you know, 
it can only work well with Theo because Theo's pace to running behind means that Ozil can put certain passes in for Theo. What he proved on Saturday doesn't have to be Theo. The assist for the first goal, Olivier Giroud, absolutely spot on. Ozil is just class right now. Um, Pradavav Rowe says uh, Giroud had a flawless game and he said Arsenal on fire. Mr DT, my friend, he says uh, complete polar opposite to the Manchester United game, but the end result was a vital three points and that's all that matters. Win like this and you win titles. Um, Sheke says uh, great result against Everton. Ozil was running the show, but let's not get carried away. Just keep our good form. I think that's very intelligent there to say that. And basically, just tweets going on and on and on about the same thing. Liking the defensive resilience we're showing. Liking the attacking. Loving the performance by Giroud. And loving the way Mesut Ozil is starting to control games. He, I mean, when he hit the post at the end, I mean, he, he was awesome on the day. And it's just great. And... Uh, now we can look forward to the uh, game against Sheffield Wednesday in the Capital One Cup. Not going to be easy. I was looking at Sheffield Wednesday today. They've, I think they've only lost three games um, so far this season in the Championship. They're, you know, near the playoff um, zone in the Championship. So they're a decent side. It's going to be at their place. Their fans are going to be up for it. They're going to be pumped up for it. And of course, we're going to rest players. You can't expect to see guys like Alexis Sanchez, um, possibly Santi Cozzola. Some of those guys are going to get a rest. But it's a chance for some of the fringe players to come in. Joel Campbell could come in and really make a mark on that game. Oxley chamberlain who over the past recent weeks hasn't been at his best. It's a chance for him. And maybe we'll get to see Theo come back in or maybe continue with Giroud. But it's a chance for some of the fringe players to come in. Matthew Debucci, you know, and show what they're made of. So looking forward to that game and hopefully we can get a victory in that. At the moment, it's going well. We want to keep the momentum going, keep it flowing, and keep those positive results just rolling through. Uh, let us know what you thought about the game on Saturday and what you're thinking about the Capital One Cup. Who should we play in that game? Give us your 11 for that Capital One Club Cup. Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for Arsenal Fan TV, and thanks for watching. Feel this way. Ain't nobody like a show